right, I'm back. Um, just an absolute torque monster. The Rocket 3 uh, actually felt very heavy to me. It's about 700 pound motorcycle. Felt heavy off the bars. Uh, I'd never ridden anything like that before, so it may have just been the first time. And I had just come off the street triple, so you're going from a 300 pound motorcycle to a 700 pound motorcycle. Um, but it just, I don't know, I didn't really like the way it drove. The power was unbelievable. I mean, 700 pound motorcycle, and it's doing 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. With a top speed of, I don't know, the only number I've seen is a kilometer. At least 240 kilometers an hour. Um, on the Autobahn. I saw one doing 240 on the Autobahn. Um, but, uh, so I rode that. Um, and then the next year I rode the um, Rocket 3 Touring. And that is a fantastic motorcycle. Um, just absolutely fantastic. It, it's amazing how the same bike, basically the same bike, can feel completely different. And, I mean, it's not the same bike exactly. They changed the frames different. Uh, the rake on the steering is different. Um, the engine's the same. They actually detuned it a little. Um, they actually detuned it a little bit because it, the uh, Touring has got a narrower tire compared to the regular Rocket. And, um... Uh, they wanted to reduce the power a little bit. But, what's interesting is making a, like 100 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 150, actually a little bit more torque at 2,000 RPM. Um, so they lowered the, the, the torque fan down a little bit. Um, it certainly does not feel as quick, but it's still really quick. And what surprised me on the Touring was, how, first of all, how comfortable it was. I'd never ridden them bike with forward control, foot controls, that took a little getting used to, but it was extremely comfortable to ride. The steering was vastly lighter. Um, I comment on that on my video. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just really a great bike. And really, it's not that expensive. I mean, is it cheap? No. I mean, fifteen dollars to $17,000 is not cheap. But, it's cheaper than a new Harley would cost, or some other machine. And to me, it was just, I thought it was very good value uh, for what you get. You know? And, uh, rode that, and then the biggest surprise of that time, and I also have that video up, was the, was the uh, new Bonneville T100. There are several versions of the Bonneville. Um, but I rode the T100. That also is a fantastic just go everywhere, do everything bike. I mean, the power is, it's, it's like almost 900 cc, but it's only making, it's only making, I think about 70 horsepower, 80 horsepower, something like that. Parallel slam, not the typical triple cylinder like that, most time. But, uh, the, the, it was just, the engine was incredibly quiet. In fact, on, on my YouTube video, you can't even hear the damn engine. Uh, it had a stock exhaust, which was also very quiet. It's got an old-fashioned banana-style seat you used to see on, like, the old Honda CC750s or whatever. Um, you can get it with spoke wheels or aluminum with trim. Um, it was just a really good, low-seat, easy to ride, enough power to be fun, not as light and nimble as some of the other bikes, but just a great bike. And I think the T100 base price is about $9,000. Um, the uh, Tiger 1050 is about twelve grand, and I think the Street Triple is about nine grand new also, which again...
you guys get a chance, definitely go to the Triumph website, go under events, and uh, look for um, look for one that they're doing near you. Uh, make sure you check the restrictions because I think you got to be 20. There are some restrictions. You got to be 25. You have to wear a certain type of gear. Uh, you got to have something that covers your arms. You got to have a helmet, long pants, proper shoes. You know, no flip flops. Obviously, a helmet. Um, you can't take passengers, and there are some restrictions on the passengers as well. Um, and uh, I would suggest to get there when they open. So, you know, if it's in Indianapolis and it starts at 10, you know, don't leave Cincinnati at 10. You, you, you need to be in Indianapolis or wherever the city is. Be there a half an hour or more before they open so you can get your name on the list. That way, make a whole day of it and ride as many different things as you can. They don't care. That they're out to just please you, you know, and let you see their motorcycle. They'll, they'll let you ride everything. Um, and you can ride it multiple times if you want. They don't care. So... The only bike I rode there, I rode and I didn't like, and this was the first, uh, this was the first year or not, I rode the, uh, the, sp the uh, Sprint, which is a full crotch rocket, full fairing. I hated that motorcycle. Um, it was faster than shit, uh, even though it's got the same engine, the 675cc as the street, uh, the street Triple, it was making way more power, and it was a monstrous for power, but I hated it. I mean, I, I got done with that. It's about a 20-minute, 20 25-minute ride, and I was ready to get off the damn thing. I found it very uncomfortable. Um, but that's me, you know. Your mileage may vary, as they say. Um, they got a new one called the American, something like that. Um, so they've got just about any bike you could possibly want, from standards to cruisers, Several variations of crotch rockets, naked crotch rockets, which is the street triple. And, uh, you know, if they don't, you, see, you can't find a bike that you like, um, you got issues. Um, Alright, enough about Triumph, I'm riding a Honda. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And looks like we got a Harley guy up here. going a little slow. That's alright. And this is going to be a good test of this camera because the sun is shining right in front of me this way now on the way back. And uh, I guess we're going to see how well it handles the direct sunlight because that was my problem with this camera. Is it, um, like right here going from into the, into the shadows with the sun up there, it did a really bad job of white balance. My next, the next place I get to that's straight, I'm going to uh, stop the video and restart it. It looks like this is going to be a more leisurely ride back. Alright, I'll do it right here.